For the record, ladies and gentlemen, this is Benjamin Godfrey and Mike Enders from Accidental Bear. And this is, the record this is for the record. For the record. And it's also straight talk. Straight talk. Not, not in the sense of sexual orientation. Actually, I don't get that. We explain that. Well, straight talk, just like straightforward. Real talk. Like no curveballs, no. Yes. No. Uh, uh, ah. See. Okay. <laughs> Let's. I'm a little tired. Usually we hang out early in the morning. This yeah, is late this in the is this is BG hour. I'm a few beers deep, a few bong tucks. Bears deep. Okay, oh, yeah, so it's for Bears the deep. record. Let's call it Falcon and BG, the buzz. For the record, Falcon and BG, the buzz. For the buzz. There's been a lot of buzz lately since we've last hung out, which was just a few weeks ago, <laughs> which is awesome. Yeah. I love when I get the text, you're coming to town. I'm like, clear the schedule. Clear the schedule. Um, but yeah, since the last time we talked, there's been a bunch of chains going on. Well, not a bunch of chains. You had a big secret. You were in town shooting for, at the time it was a secret, but now it's out. And now the secret's out, yeah. And there's been a lot of buzz on the internet, and there's been a lot of, like, and good buzz. And there's been a lot of just, like, yeah. crappy judgment. Like, Sure, there's going to be that. There's going to be a little crappy judgment. But long story short, if you haven't heard the news... I'm, I'm now um, working with Falcon Rage and Selling Studios in San Francisco. I have been for the past few months. And I'm directing a, a DVD for Falcon. And they're going to distribute it. And through the Inner and Sanctum. And you're going to be in it? Yeah, I'm, I'm, in the, I'm in the DVD twice. I'm, I do naked skateboarding and then a fashion show. Um, a fashion model turned jack off scene type thing. So the first scene is me, I'm at a fashion, I'm, I'm a fashion model, oh wait, now I'm a porn star, uh, 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 uh. yeah, exactly, so, so I'm fashion, I'm all modeling, first of all, I'm not a fashion model, I'm not a wait, fitness yeah, model, that's, yeah, that's, that's true, let's just, let's just get this straight, I'm well, not a fashion them. model, yes, I'm fashionable, so, you fuck y'all, and I'm not a fucking fitness model, because I smoke cigarettes, and I'm, I don't give a shit. Yeah, that cancels you out for sure. But what I am is the realest motherfucker you've ever met, and I like to jack off on video. So and here we are. Well, no, I didn't. That's essentially what it is. What do you got? Well, I think there's like your model. And I people, started as people a model. Say, you can't yeah. just be a model. What are your model for JC Pennies? What are your models well, see, for like, I'm, I'm a model for Benjamin Godfrey LLC, a mixed media production company based out of Los Angeles that I created for myself so that I can organize all my content and be in charge of it. And if you've ever been to BenjaminGoffrey.com, then you've seen that. And that well, that's a, smart. That's a product. That's a product of my work. And it's brave. Thank you. you have to. Yeah, it's all you, on me, man. The pressure's on you. You're the foundation. You have the PR. You have to be the PR. I'm everything, dude. I wear hats, but there's. I mean, like here we are sharing the news with each other, and I feel like we're uh, the more people I meet. Like I feel like we're a larger network and a bigger family yeah. than anything. I don't feel alone every day. I mean, I'm, shit. And the funny thing about you is. There's no, because everyone always wants to say, oh, that's a, a straight model, that's a gay model, that's a this or that, but it's funny because, like, I lived in San, Fr San Francisco for so long, I don't really see that anymore, you know? Like, my friends are, like, trans and bi, and it's... Sure. It's, it, the second we stop trying to figure each other out and just accept each other as as a society, then that's that's when we're winning. Right now, it's like... People so desperately right now want to... Need, they need to judge you and I because they need to have some ground to stand on for their own insecurities. And you know what? That's fine. We're people. I do it too. But I'm not vocalizing it. Like, I just... I, I like to assess where I'm at here and there. Well, people, I think you're in evolution. Like, you're Benjamin, but you're like, you're not this one thing. You're just always evolving, so... I am, dude. You never know what the fuck I'm gonna do. So, who approached you about working with Falcon? Did you approach them, or did they approach Fal you? Well, I've, I've been friends with a few members of Falcon. Toby Morris is a, right. is a nice guy. He's the marketing director from Falcon. I've known him for years. And they, they contacted me saying, would you like to do a scene? I said, no, I have my own erotica company going on. I think it would interfere. And they were nice enough to say, hey, look, we'd like you to help direct some scenes and be involved on a different level than just a model. And I took that opportunity and I said, absolutely. I would love to connect with a little, little bit more of the adult industry as it's about 30% of what I do is the erotica. Right. So, and, and you said as soon as you turned 18, you wanted to do As soon as I was 18, I took my clothes off That's for fun. For fun. I was yeah. like, let's do this. Like, what's the big deal? You know, we all have penises and vaginuses and vaginuses. I always wanted a brother or sister, but instead I got a broster. Hey, Peter, you want to see my vaginas? Uh, I, 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 I don't know.
So, like well, the whole, that's his mom we're talking I have about. questions here, yeah. but I, let's for, answer the questions. Because we are goofballs, but sometimes we're serious. Let's be serious, let's answer the questions. We'll, we'll, we'll try our best. This is for the record, after all. The whole process behind, like, doing the porn stuff, like, what was that for you? Like, was it, like, easy? Because also, people keep categorizing it as gay porn, mm. but is it, it's not gay porn if you're just jacking off by yourself. I mean, that's just it. Like, I call myself a porn star right off the bat because... <laughs> I love that. I said, hey, look, I'm a porn star because I don't want people being like, oh, he's a porn star, and me being like, no, I'm not. Oh, my God. No. Oh, no. Don't call me a porn star. That's the worst. <laughs> so I just call myself porn right off the bat because, and it's up to you to decide what I am. And they hit you with the Bible. Yeah, it's They're like... like Porn star, evil, going to hell, you're not a real model. I, That's the other thing. Like, I think if someone puts you into, like, a porn category, right, then yeah. you're no longer a real model. I mean, here, but here, here it is. Yeah, sure. That's fine. It's a new era today, but I, I, I mean, was it, was it, what was the question? What was the thought process? The thought process? The well, leap in the porn well, cause, business. Because here it is, like, there's always, like, in the porn and erotica doll business, we all, there's this joke, it's like, it's not porn, it's erotica. Because... If you're having sex with someone else, is it porn? I mean, I, I mean, we can all Google the dictionary defini or definition porn. of porn. I mean, but is porn like me walking by someone and seeing a nice ass and being like jacking off to it later in my mind? Is that person a porn star? Or That's jacking true. Off to them? It's different. So and like and plus the word porn star is it an, is it negative connotation or is it? We don't know. So well, here in San Francisco, I've always I've always wanted to pro provide a service of pleasing others sexually. <laughs> and I don't want to be there. Funny. I don't want to go there and like you know help you out or anything. But I mean, I'm here for you, dude. Like I mean, I love I love sharing that. It's like so sue me, man. Okay, so that was kind of be another one of my questions because mm -hmm. online I don't know if I should mention the sites. There's like the sword. And some other sites. Well, the swords cut off. The they swords have cut their, off. They've been negative and mean, but but they always have their eye on you. That's the funny thing. Whether they're negative or positive, they have their eye on you, mm. and they have something to say. I actually wrote down. Oh no, forget it. Yeah, say it. Well, this is this is actually a quote. Did Falcon pay Godfrey to bring some mainstream attention to them, or did Godfrey pay Falcon to be able to star in his first professional gay porn shoot? They're saying like you paid them so you could do your first professional porn shoot. That's what they said. Uh, well, I mean, I'd like to keep the business exact dollars a little private, but I can tell you that it's the most amicable possible situation anyone would want. It, it was We're helping each both. other out, yeah. and and it's gonna it, it helps us both out. That's all I can say. It's like I want to reach out to a different different group of people and say, "Hi, I'm here. How are you?" And this is a great way to do it by going to the largest porn company of all time. Falcon happens to be the nicest group of guys I've ever met in my life, ultra professional, and this, there's, it's, it's, it's hard, like, I would like to do more with them, I don't necessarily know if I want to, but they're so nice, and right. I love, they're like family on they're so cool, who wouldn't want to work with people yeah. who really they love they take care of their people, yeah. so, so there's a lot of people out there saying, okay, so now you're doing solo jab off, so it's only, remember we were talking about earlier, it's only one step away from doing, like, a gay scene, full well, on game banging, well, my next scene after this jack off is triple fisting, triple anal fisting, but uh -huh. I'm gonna bottom for it, and I'm gonna actually be on the video yeah. licking everyone's balls. Yeah. Triple fisting, and I'm gonna be licking triple, the sex. Triple quadruple fisting. Um, if my asshole is coming next. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so they, the question was. Yeah. yeah keep up your the question was. So many people say, "Oh, that dude is just one step away from gay porn sure. now." Getting sure. fucked, getting a blowjob, but one of those scenes where like sure. straight dude gets a hummer on the couch. And I asked you earlier, like, and yeah, you were yeah, really yeah. honest about that. Yeah. You were, you know, about. I just don't. I just don't want to get that. fucked. Like, I mean, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Like, uh, I, I was thinking about maybe. For the record. For the record, I don't want to get fucked, man. <laughs> Thanks. Well, that's the other thing. See, I'm gonna ask these questions, but like, someone's yeah. gonna say, "Well, are you gonna get a blowjob from a dude?" Okay, so. No, I won't. Um, at the moment, no. And that's, you, so that's when you'd step into the production part of it and you'd be... I will get a blowjob from a female and put it on my site very soon. Definitely. Um, but you know, it's like, look, I'm a different brand of erotica. I'm a, I'm a new age version of, of pornography on the internet. I have something going on that's reality style that you don't get. Sure, you can pay... You can pay like $10 a month and get triple double fisting anal hardcore to your, to your delight and it's great. <laughs> or you can pay a little bit more and you can get all this extra current rad reality style erotica that you get from my site. You're investing in me, you're investing in the ability that I have to network and socialize with the people that you care about, aka this guy, and the, here we are. This is what we do. That's what you're supporting. So, I mean, if 
we'll see what happens. But it's, there's definitely, I'll always have a little erotica side of me. But no, I'm, I'm not it's really like into the gay stuff. Day at a time. It's like, so I work for a gay studio. Am I gay? Did I do gay porn? I don't know. Every time I fix my kitchen sink, no one calls me a plumber. But every time I fucking work <laughs> with Falcon, I'm gay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so, do you the think? The best plumber. Hashtag plumber. <laughs> yeah, I want to I wanna see you in gay plumber porn. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so what? Like, I'll, I'm about to make Mike blow me right now just to prove that I don't care. Like, yeah. yeah. Just for the record. Yeah, for the record. <laughs> Camera's off. <Yeah. laughs> so one other thing is you have a big fan base already. Mm. And do you think switching to doing this kind of work is going to like turn anybody off? Like girls maybe? Mm. Well, Cause girls don't like porn as much as gay dudes. I think gay sure. or well, dudes. If you want to know, there's like... 16% of my fans are female, and that's fine. They're good. They're good girls. They're nice, um, and most of them are gay men. But I have a I have a group of like like a thousand people who have been with me since I, since Facebook before my second. They're, they're, they're the ones, and they're in inner sanctum. They're they're there for me. They're the ones. They're not going anywhere. They they just know that it's all good. Yeah. And then there's you got team there's Godfrey different, too on Twitter. There's team Godfrey and then different. <laughs> they're good. They're shout good. out team Godfrey. That's Gavin from the UK, and then there's um, there's like a bunch of there's a bunch of opportunities for me to do like music videos with Richie and as a lease. I can hang out with models like Simon Dexter. I can interview with Mike Axel Bear. I can do some porn. I can I'm do totally a homo. Yeah, we can do whatever we want. Like, it is, but why do we have to be with any any realms and bounds? So, so it, it, you know, at the risk of sounding scattered, I do want to do a lot. So. But as long as it's bringing it in one central place. With Falcon or a lot? Oh, I just want to do a Falcon, lot of things. Like, you have like a pyramid chart. Everything Falcon's in the world. In it. Yeah. Now it's like part of the Falcon's part, of, Falcon's part of the homie. Falcon's the homie. <laughs> Falcon's part you of the homie. You should all be so lucky to work with them. They're rad. Yeah, and I really mean that. They're, they're, not even, they're not here holding a gun to my head telling no. me to say that. I wasn't sure. I was, I was asking yeah. earlier about Where's contract that? work. Like, <laughs> and you guys. Yeah. Oh, there's also something that I said they were um, in some of the blogosphere. That word's funny. People were curious how you had your name on the picture and Falcon on the picture. So, because they were just like, wait, doesn't Falcon just totally own him? And I think that confuses people too, because you guys are working together. Right. Yeah. No, they don't. They don't. They don't own um, the images. It's fifty-fifty. Um, they. Don't, I have the, the exclusive rights to the internet content, so the videos are going to be exclusively through my website, and it was a joint effort creatively from Falcon. Studios and Benjamin Godfrey LLC together to make this possible. So it only made sense for us to put both logos and because we have we have joint responsibility for the art. We're we're doing everything together. And your location? Do they? Is that a secret location? They the, the the Sonoma location is. Um, I mean that's probably. All that it's it's just it's just in Sonoma. It's Ken Taylor. It's uh, it's his it's his he sets it up. Who's Ken Taylor? Ken Taylor is the photographer for Falcon Studios, and he's he's a rad dude. Is um, it his home? He's that? got a cabin. In, in wine country, and uh, we go out there, and this is one of the many locations. And also, I always thought maybe they do it there because it's all hot. <laughs> it's always I don't know. Whenever people are hot, they get horny. So I'm like, yeah, let's take guys out there and fucking put them in the heat. And yeah, you want a ZJ? ZJ, what's that? If you don't know, you can't afford it. Oh, okay. <laughs>